Hello guys and girls and welcome back to the next episode of Oxygen Not Included with me, Biffa. Thank you very much for joining me. So, what are we doing today? We are going to start working on cooling down this steam geezer geyser water. Uh, we also need to grab a load of algae up here. So I'm going to just put all of that to a six so we can get those guys and girls to do that. Um, can I put a chest over the top of that. No, I can't. Okay, I was wondering whether that came under the automation stuff, which normally goes behind, so you can build on it, but maybe not on that one. Ah, oh, here we go. We've got enough seeds now to fill this up. That is fantastic. Last episode, we built this, which was getting rid of all of our... No, it's just mop all of that up. Getting rid of all of our nasty gas and our nasty liquid, which went absolutely fantastic. So, really pleased with that. Um, so what I'm thinking of doing down here is building in, uh, let's have a look, building in a room for this to fall down to, so there's no germs around here, is there? No. And then we can use these thermal plates to shift the heat around and cool that down. I mean, I've not tried that yet. We'll give that a try. Why not? So let's see. How high do you want to go? The germs are there, so they won't spread over there. Maybe we could sort of have it up to there. Maybe a little bit further down, actually. Let's go a bit lower. So if I leave like that. And I'm going to have this ladder as part of the inside. So then if we go up there, say to there. I mean, it's all arbitrary, but that should do. We can dig that out. We can add in our liquid pump. We'll go right in the bottom there. Uh, I want to get all this algae out before we open up all of that. So let's add that in. Let's add... Okay, you can come out of that menu and show me the power thing. There we go. I want to know where to attach that. So we'll have that run up to there. And we also need some ventilation. Gas pipe. No, we don't. Don't need a gas pipe at all. We want a liquid pipe. There we go. And I'm going to use a normal liquid pipe. There we go. So I'm, I'm hoping this is going to be cooled down. The chlorine, the hydrogen will float wherever it floats. That shouldn't get back up into my base. Ah, oh, there we go. All the nasty water's back down here. Good. I'm going to set that to a six. So they'll start cleaning that up. And we'll grab that as well to tidy it up. What's going on here? Gas pressure, probably. Yes. What gases are we getting here? Oh, it's changing between oxygen and carbon dioxide, so it's not sure what to do. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. We'll try and get a load more oxygen going into here. What's that set to? A six. Loads of algae. Excellent. Oh, there's another piece there. We'll grab that. Oh, yeah, there we go. Look. We've got this nice light-coloured sand as well. Oh, there's a few more pieces. We'll add those to the list. How's our germs looking? Yeah, we're still away from the germs. Those I want to auto-harvest. So let's grab that. Excellent. Then we'll work our way up to here once we've got our water. I think we're almost near to getting... Let's have a look. Oh, we haven't started that one yet. Let's do this then and get our natural gas generator. That would be handy. Thank you for grabbing that, sir. Loads of oxygen in there. I'm not worried about that. We'll leave that. Oh, there we go. Look, oxygen's coming out and it's forcing this back down again. Mm, I don't think we need to open this yet. We'll be, we'll be judicious, not judicious, careful, the opposite, in our use of this gas crusher. Because otherwise we could be seriously, we, you know, we want gas pressure in our base. Uh, that's closed up. Oh, that's open up to here, look. And that's open all the way up to there. Ah, oh, I didn't notice that and so's that. This section here needs a door. How did I not notice that before? Well, I bet there's a thousand comments about that. Let's put that on and cancel that. Or, yeah, we'll, we'll put that on there. Go to bed. That's fine. Don't mind me. Let's add that on a seven so that gets done when they wake up in the morning. Everybody's got a bed, haven't they? And everybody's happy. Good. As long as the food's coming in well... That has worried me. I've seen a couple of comments saying that seeds, you, once you get them going, it's like before. You will get plenty of seeds coming in. So that's good. And what I'm going to do down here is just set some of this. I want that ladder and stuff to a six. We'll get that done first. Then we can start digging all of that out. So we'll see how that goes. There we go. Thank you very much. So that's going to stop. <laughs> that's going to help 
with my escape of gases all over the place. Although this area has been included in that as well. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick another door there. Stop gases going in there unnecessarily. This is fine because they need to come in here and do the water. Sometimes. So not worried about that. That's closed. This is closed. This is running down all the way down here. But that's, that's fine. Because the oxygen is mostly staying in there. This is all going to be CO2. So... I mean, I may end up removing this. It was more like a proof of concept than anything else. So, what I was thinking of doing is whether to get another person. Uh, we've got five. I could stick another little bedroom up there. Our food. There we go. The light system's working. That was something else we made last time. A nice little automated light system to give extra decor in that area. Um, do I want to do that? How's the food looking? Meal lice, we've got 24. So we've got plenty of... Oh, that needs to be on a 6. Plenty of meal lice coming in. How are you guys doing? I was wondering about a toilet over here to save them running backwards and forwards so much. Because sometimes they are going to want to run back and do that. I'm just seeing what they're doing. They're dropping stuff off. Yeah, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put in... A storage box. Uh, how are the germs looking over here? Hmm. Yeah, storage box there, and then bum, 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 wash basin there, and uh, outhouse there. Yeah, that's fine. Let's get that, that done. Well, at least they're not running so far. Thank you very much, Carolina, Catalina, <laughs> whatever your name is. Awkward. Yeah, you get building that for me. I don't know why this is showing up on the front. That was behind there before, but suddenly it's showing up on the front of it, which is a bit odd. So it's getting a bit warm. Let's have a look anyway. Let's, let's see. In case we've got somebody really good. Flatulent, flatulent. Eh, that's never good. Irritable bowel, that's never good anemic. Do you know what? I don't care how good you are. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. No, no, thank you. Okay, there we go. That's building up again. Getting the pressure. Good. Excellent. Oh, we haven't got... Have we got no refined metal? We have. Why is it not in there? Oh, it is. Okay, that's fine. Ah, oh, there we go. Uh, what do I want in here? Uh, everything apart from organic, cultivatable soil, refined metal, seed, agriculture. What are we going to be getting here? Abyssalite, algae, sand... So we'll leave that one on. Consumable ore, in case we get some of that. Yeah, and I'll put that on a six as well. So that shouldn't fill up any more than these. Now, these are all on a six. Good. And then hopefully they don't run back as far to do that. Oh, some food there. Yeah, he's okay. Annoyingly, it shows up this power thing on all of this. There's not much we can do about that, sadly. So, how's the oxygen going in here? Whoa, what's that blue bit that's flying around? See, that's below there. I think that needs to be up here. Stop any polluted oxygen getting out. I put that in the wrong place, haven't I? Let's just pop that there. Uh, I don't think any polluted oxygen's coming out of here. There's loads in there. Put that down to a three. There we go. You get to that when you get to it. Aha! Well done! Thank you very much. I'm going to have that going that way. And what priority do we have the other one set on? Uh, that's set on a five and it's always filled up. That's set on a five. That's set on a five. Yeah, we'll leave that on a five then. Awaiting material water. Good. How's the germs looking in our base then? We've got a few there. But apart from that, that's okay. Everybody's still immune. So that's good. Hmm, I'm still worried about our food. It never seems to be not building up that much. What have we got in there? Nutrition, nutrient bar, muck root, mush bar. Ah, it's not adding in lice loaf. I wonder where they're being stored. And cooking ingredients. It should have everything. There's no way of setting this to everything without unticking that and it chucking it all on the floor, which is annoying. Low 
just move. Yeah, I think that's it, isn't it? Everything else is fine. I think they've probably eaten it before. Okay, oh, there we go. Out of order. So that's waiting for some material. What are these set on? Five as well. Okay, everything's running off of a five. I might just make that a six, just for now. Just so people start using that. Mm -hmm. Doesn't cause any problems. How's the oxygen going? Oxygen's pretty bad. Oh, yeah, it's pretty bad in that toilet as well. Um, we could dig out a couple of those and just put an algae. Oh, it's blue. Hmm, interesting. And just put an algae uh, terrarium in there. Just to give a little bit of oxygen in this area. I think that'll be helpful. Oh, there we go. Look, they're filling it up. Nice. Yep, that's got some water. Thank you kindly, my dupes. You're so handy. So helpful, I mean. You know what I mean? Okay, how are they getting on down here? Almost done. I'm worried about that chlorine. Excuse the squeak. One out of tea. Onto the water. The heavy stuff. Yeah, I'm worried about the chlorine. But I think it will be okay. Oh, it's night time. We'll see how it goes. Um, germs. Wash your hands. Excellent. So this one over here is set to four. And we haven't got one that side, have we? No. Hmm, just looking around. A little bit of polluted oxygen. See, that oxygen doesn't seem to spread very far. Oh, is it because I've got this on? Ah, okay. Activate if below 750. So actually, no, that's okay. There's enough to breathe. Uh, breathable. Very breathable. So, I mean, I could even put it tiny little bit lower, but no, we'll leave that as that. So we're not flying through our algae too quickly until we've got our water situation sorted. Then I'm just going to whack an electrolyzer in the base anywhere. I don't care. Um, just to get that going. And all the hydrogen can just run up to the top. And then we'll deal with that later. Just because why not? I've, ne I've not done it like that before. Let's put that on a six. So they hurry up and get in there. We need some oxygen for these guys. Oh, is this not set to a six down here? Yes, it is. There we go. Excellent. Thank you very much. Yeah, I normally have... You know, we've done it before. I'm trying to do... Every time I start a new series... Obviously, we're looking at the new stuff. But I'm trying to do things differently. So... Um, oh, we could let that down into here, couldn't we, as well? If we dig that through... We'll let that run down here. Anyway. Um, yeah, don't do the things the same every time. Look at the new stuff. But also do things differently. So... I probably will have at some point a proper electrolyzer setup and a carbon skimmer if we need it. But the, the electrolyzer we will. But if I could just put that in the base, the hydrogen will just float up. And we can just have like a nice hydrogen trap at the top. We'll just try that. Not done one of those before. Not many people using that pole that I've noticed. Oh, they can't get... Oh, they can get through over here, can't they? No, that's okay. How many seeds are we doing? One extra millwood seed. Hmm, if I move that switch, we could have another one there. That'll do. We'll leave it like that. How are you getting on? Oh, excellent. Good. You're coming down here. Well, I tell you what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put that all to a six. It's funny, you know, with the priorities, sometimes you'll have... We've seen this before. You'll have stuff prioritised above five. And it's like a big issue. It's a big old problem. And they don't go and eat or breathe or whatever. And they, it blooming kills them. Um, other times, you can quite happily set things at priority five. And it's no issue at all. I want to go down here with a ladder so we can get underneath. What are we discovering down here? Oh, a cold biome. Excellent. Oh, here we go. A security door. Can you hear that? It's a machine running in there as well. Nice. Um, so this up here, we're going to have to sort of build in like a little thing like that to get the water down I mean I could do it a bit lower and get all of this here we could go like there but then that's gonna I and mean, then we could block that off like that and have it run through there whoops how about that and sort of fill up to that area I'm trying to make this just a heck of a lot to do oh, actually we could just do that couldn't we and dig out that section there and not all of this and then we could council 
that, 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 and that. There we go. And that would just run in. And we could even do that, couldn't we? And block it all in there. And then fill this up with... Hmm. Okay. Well, let's see how we get on with that. And then fill this up with... Um, with things. With something. I have no idea what was in my mind. Come on. Priority six, please. Not five, six. Yeah. Thank you. Let's get these done. And those if you can. And then you're obviously going to need a ladder up there. We'll put that on a five for now. And then we'll see how that goes. I mean, that hydrogen's going to end up up here. Then it's sort of going to go up. So eventually that will disappear. 17,000 food. Lice loaf's 12. Okay. It's good. What's that in there? Oh, that's all oxygen as well, isn't it? We saw that before. Yeah, we're going okay. We're going okay. We're not doing too bad. Excellent. Airflow tiles. The old safe method for holding water. We don't have metal tiles yet. Otherwise, we would have used those. Mm, I think they come up in here when they get found. So, when we get that, we'll use it. Oh, hang on. We've filled up our thing. Let's put in another one then. There we go. Put another one in there. Keep that going. Nice. Thank you very much. I'm pretty sure the chlorine will just sit down here and won't go anywhere. I hope so. I mean, eventually we can pump it out. <laughs> we could pump it into here and destroy it. I mean, I, I don't want to do that, but that is something that's possible. It was still germ-free. It's nice, actually, that this whole starting area is bereft of germs for quite a way. And we've got access to a lot of stuff without going through germs, like this coal biome as well. So we can get in there and we can avoid the germ area for a long time, which is going to be nice. There we go. Well done. Although when I put this ladder in, we are going very close to germs. But I'm hoping... I mean, that'll be the first slime lung into our base, that little bit there. But such a tiny bit... I'm not sure that's going to be a huge issue. Oh, there we go. But I want to get down the back here. I want to be able to get under here. Like that, and across this way. So we can start grabbing some of that if we want. What else have we got here? Yeah, a little bit of slime lung in there, but we've got all this algae. Yeah, that'll keep us going for a nice long while. Oh, there we go. Let's copy those. Stick that on there. I'm wondering whether... If I dig that out, does it spread diagonally germs? Because if I've dug that out, I could just dig it out, couldn't I? Nah, I'll leave it. I'll leave it. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, we've got coal, all sorts of stuff. All sorts. So I'm just wondering, actually, now that we've started doing this, could we start getting them to put in... Uh, utilities, thermo shift plates made out of igneous rock. Let's come out of that menu. Thank you. So you have, if I was going to do these, let's just put them all down to a one. Are they sort of... Oh, yeah, they really overlap. Look. So how much is this taking? 800 a go. Oh, look at that. So that will just start spreading the heat up. Mamma mia. They do overlap a lot. So that would take any heat from this water here and start just spreading it up and out. So that actually makes a funny noise. That actually could be really good once we get into that. That's all at level one. So they should leave those alone until they've done the rest. Supercomputer algae trend. What is the supercomputer waiting for? Water. You've got some water. Please don't complain. Nearly there on the fossil fuels. That's good. Food is slowly creeping up. Excellent. We have a new dupe. Let's take a look at the dupe. Destructive vomitor binge eater. No. Mm. Creativity. Digging, learning, tinkering. May. Grease monkey. Should we have another May? And then stop at six. Let's have another May. We'll stop at six. 
Uh, we, we will get May's room in here. Uh, we will set up the cot. And we will set up the canvas. We will make that a seven so it gets done. And that's about all you need in a bedroom. So there we go. Yep. Actually, it doesn't need to be that big. If we made it half... Yeah, okay, well, that'll be a bedroom anyway. If you get it built, you'll get somewhere to sleep. If you don't, you won't have anywhere to sleep. Man, that's going to be nuts. be interesting to see how this works. Plus, with the hydrogen, I know that's good for transferring heat and things like that. Uh, let's count that. Remove that one there. Yeah, so we're going to dig all of this out at some point, And we're going to store all of that. Down here, I reckon. Let's just go with that. So we're going to put all of that stinky stone... Oh, that's igneous rock. Here, bleach stone. We've all the bleach stone down there. And that also means we would have access to... Oh, have we not researched it yet? Uh, you're still working. Good. Uh, healthcare. Hand sanitizer. Germ cover duplicate hand sanitizer. Passing bar. I've never... I mean, I've used the... I say I've never used the hand sanitizers. I have used the hand sanitizers. I rarely find the need to use the hand sanitizers. There we go. That's going Okay. That's filling up nicely. So what I could probably do with... Oh, that's already on a six. If I get that... And I know that's going to build some of those thermal plates. In fact, let's build those thermal plates. Let's get those done. You've got resources here to use. Yeah, there we go. Lots of thermal plate delivering. Let's see. And I'm hoping this is going to be a nice, effective way. Yeah, don't suffocate yourself. You can get out if you want to breathe. It's no problem. Oh, off to bed. I'm hoping that's going to be a nice, easy way for doing this, for cooling down this water. Shall we add uh, one? It's got to be there. One. Uh, there's the ladder there. Space one. There we go. And they can get across. Makes it hard to see, doesn't it? <laughs> it's a shame. I was hoping these would sort of disappear unless you press the automation overlay, but they don't. Which is a little bit annoying, but there we go. Food's fine. Water's going down. Well, that's okay. We've got this one over here. There's, yeah, a lot in there. So we'll, we can dig through. We can set something up there. Not worried about that. Oh, here we go. Look, this deodorizer's in. Let's have a quick look. So this is all oxygen, as far as I can see. Yeah. Well, we'll leave it on a five. If people put stuff in it, they do. If they don't, they don't. Oh, yeah, some oxygen there. That's good. So you don't have to run too far to breathe. There we go. They're going in already. Let's have a look. Oh, I bet I didn't make that out of gold. I bet I don't have any gold, do I? Oh, I didn't. Well, that'll be interesting to see as well. Normally, you need a gold pump because this water comes through so hot. Although it's at 62. No, we'll probably be okay, actually. Uh, overheat at 75. No, it's going to be fine. Well, they're working their way through these things. It's taken a few in-game days to do so. And let's have a look at the heat and see how heat is being transferred at the moment. So, 
down here is about 42 degrees. That's about 41. Um, and then when we jump up to here, let's see. 39, 37, 36, 35. So it's going down as you go up. And then as you hit back here, it's back up to 38, 39 again. So this is... That's 27. So this is cooler. I suppose the best test we're going to get is once we have... <laughs> once we have the water coming down. These are look weird, don't they? The way they're all overlapping like that it makes it really hard to see what's under here. But hey-ho, there we go. Uh, yeah, somebody needs to fix that. Let's put that on a six. I think we're still going okay up here. Yeah. Uh, this... Uh, oh, these are closed. So I have not been letting through any CO2 at the moment. But I think we're sort of dealing with it okay. And a lot of it is maybe coming down to over here. So I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, another dupe is coming through. We've got mush bar, lice loaf. Maybe we do some of these. Made a mess. Okay, well, that's not good. Let's clear up the made a mess. And that's going to go all the way down here to down there and to there. So I'll tell you what's probably going on here is these are not set to a six. So we're getting them to do other stuff. And they're just not coming back and cleaning out the toilets. Um, yep, that room's been done. There we go. Got another bedroom over there. Mm, I'm going to disable the building. I probably have to say no to these first. Thank you, but no. We're going to stick with six for now. We'll see how things go as time goes on. I'm just wondering whether we could just do with another... Another one of those. When you get a chance. Because we're sort of running out. Oh, there we go. It's just all polluted oxygen. Oxygen, oxygen. Polluted, polluted. Yeah, there is a lot of polluted oxygen flying around. No germs in it. I'll tell you what it is. It's because of this. Is that a six? Oh, it's working. Oh, okay. That's going. Good, good. How are we doing down here? Still quite a few left to go. But they're now working their way up to here. They do complain about the heat down here, but... What is it? 36? It's not that... Uh... Somebody's sleeping down here. Oh, somebody's suffocating down here. Oh, for goodness sake. Right. Red alert. Uh, I want you just to dig your way out. And don't be so dumb. No, no. Right, okay, you can't get out of that one. I want you to dig that out. And then leave. No. Move to here. You're going to go. Go on, quick as you can. Okay, no! Oh, red alert is on. Go and breathe. Yep. No, who's suffocating now? Oh, is that still you? But you're okay. Uh, dupes. Okay, there we go. We'll do that one there then. So we are getting bit, bits of chlorine and stuff. Possibly coming into our base. Through the bleached stone. I hope not. Uh, we don't actually have anywhere to store the bleached stone yet. So I might just leave it at that. Um, until we think it's a good idea <laughs> to put it somewhere. Well, it'll be down here once they get all of this done. Uh, yeah, there's still oxygen there. I can't tell whether these ladders across here have been built. Oh, there's one there. Yes, you can. And there's the other one there. Yeah, so they should be able to run across there, okay. Why right, all of these are done now, although some of them are still showing as not finished. But if you sort of highlight over those ones. Oh, it says council build. Oh, that's strange. It didn't do that before. Uh, let's actually look at the priorities. Ah, oh, there we go. Look, they're showing up. Yeah, it won't let you do that. But I think some of these aren't actually built yet. Which is weird because they weren't showing as that before. Okay, well, let's get these done. Yeah, there we go. Thermal shift plates. Yeah, there's some sort of pre-alpha goodies, goodness going on there. Which is stopping some of these from being built. But we're nearly there. Okay, a bit of information for you. When I was clicking and dragging these across here, um, it seems as if you can place more than one thermal shift plate on top of each other. Look. One, two, three, four, five. All in exactly the same place. I thought as I was clicking and dragging, it was going to do what happens with tiles, where you click and then it won't place another one until you get to a free space. 
Um, but that's not what was happening. It is placing a whole load on top. Um, and it seems to be a bit odd. You can't drag and council them. I'm not sure whether this is counselling them either. Oh, yeah, the list is going down. Yeah, there we go. And there's probably one more. Yeah. So down here, where I'm seeing that there's lots of ones and things like that, it's because I've placed so many of these on top of each other. So if I go through this, okay, there's one there, which they'll get to. But these, I don't know how many I placed. Oh, look, you can see now I'm holding over it. So I was thinking they were going to be placed next to each other, but sadly, they weren't. So, yeah, I'm going through and trying to get them just to sort of finish all these off. It's way overkill. It's far too many. You can't cancel it with a quick click and drag, which is a shame. In fact, what I'll probably do is try and just go through and cancel it like this instead. Yeah, if I can. And then if there's any gaps left, we'll see what we can do. If not, yeah, at least then we'll be done. <laughs> right, that looks like it. Every spot that needs one on has got one on. Um... Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I, uh, that's weird. It's weird that they do that. So unfortunately, we're going to have one place. Some have got one. Some have got like five. Um, like over here, they've got three, three. But, you know, we'll, we'll deal with that as we go along. Like they're clearing up. Thank you very much, peeps, for clearing up. Um, I need you to come down the back here as well. What am I looking for? 46. Let's get that done and that done. That is where the chlorine stuff is going to go. And now they're starting to dig this out. And we're almost, once they've done that. Oh, darn it, of course, yes. Um, oh, poops. Uh, actually, it's full up, isn't it? So it just means that they're not going to be able to get anything out of it if it's full up. I'm not overly that worried. Can they get down there? They can. Oh, I'll move that later. Whatever. Um, and then they need to do all of this up here as well. So let's get that going. And the rest of these, they should be able to reach okay. I'm hoping. We shall see anyway. And then we're going to open up this. And let the... let the. There's a lot of chlorine and carbon dioxide in there. Uh, we're also going to need... Let's have a look. A block there, so they can get across. Then we're going to, we can, when we want to, dig into all of that as well and head over to there. But I want to get this down and see how effective that is at cooling all of that. Hopefully really good. Uh, we're doing all right, we're doing all right. Oh, meal lice. Got lots of meal lice. Oh, I've got no food on at all. I didn't realise... Uh, this is going to be what? Just another storage container. Let's copy that and put that on there. How thin can we make that bedroom? We can make that thinner and put a couple of storage there, but maybe I won't. Right, finally got this set up down here so we can put all this nasty bleach stone. Oh, almost. They're just about to do it. Put all the nasty bleach stone in there, which will be good if they could finish that for me. What's that on? Yeah, we've got some of this on a seven. We've been running out of algae as well, but I've sort of sold that. Uh, food's gone back up again, which is good. There we go. Thank you very much. Well done. So let's put in here... Uh, where's bleach stone come under? Organic? Consume filtration. What does it come under? Oh, bleach stone. There we go. Consumable. Bleach stone. So we'll have that in there. So they'll start picking all of that up. Let's sweep all of that. And there's a load down here making more chlorine. And then we can get them to do that. And this. What's all that priority on there? Six. Okay, that's fine. So let's get them... Yeah, once they've cleared all that away, then we're going to let this water back down. Right, I think it's time to get this open. There's a couple of seeds left at the bottom. The guides can go and get that when they so wish. This is all going to be placed on a seven. 
There we go. Get that done. And that one as well. And then we'll open up that last little section once we get there. So I'm really hoping after all of this that this is actually going to really help <laughs> with the cooling down of the water. I guess we'll find out once we actually um, once we actually get there. Let's get those two as well. We'll start dripping through. Can they reach that? Yes, they can when they stood up there. Yep, that's fine. There we go. Um, okay, yeah, we'll let it... If it drips through, it drips through. Before they wake up. Probably will. Yeah, it's not really breaking just yet. Oh, here we go. Coming back to do the last couple of things. Let's let them make these first before I get them to dig out the last couple of blocks. There we go. Dig that one as well. And then you might be able to make that and then we'll leave all that other stuff. Whoa, it's running out. Run away, run away. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Now, I'm wondering whether that's going to overflow. Because that is one heck of a lot of water. I'm hoping it doesn't. And we may need to put a little door in here. Do you know what we're going to do? Yeah, that's going to overflow, isn't it? But it might not overflow up to here. It's going to come up to there. We're going to put a door here. And we're going to start making something that's temperature controlled at some point. So we're going to put that there and that there. There we go. It's fine. It's all fit in. Let's look at the temperature. So this is 56. This is 49. Is it changing? I'm thinking what we do need is more plates up here to sort of spread the heat out. Because at the minute, I, I didn't realise how much water was in there. I thought that water was going to sit down here and then it would spread up. The heat would spread up. What we could probably do is some more thermal plates to get right up to the top here. Man alive! I like carefully clicked once in each of those spaces and every now and again... You'll hear it when you place. It makes that funny noise. And you'll end up with more than one in one spot. Which is a bit annoying. But, yeah, something to keep an eye on. Oh, we've got to that point now where we're actually nearly out of water. So, we need to come over here and add in another pitcher pump. Whoa, scalding hot. Let's do that. I think someone's running through the water somewhere. Uh, if we actually go all the way up to there, we could add in, just as they're going to be running past there a lot, we'll add that in. Let's see, where are they scalding? Down there, okay, well don't stand around scalding yourself. Oh man, there's loads to make. Yep, yeah, the scalding, I know, I know. Build the doors for me, thank you very much. So at some point, we can set those up to automatically open uh, somehow. Not quite sure how we're going to do that yet, but we will. Maybe clock sensor. Hmm, I'm not sure yet. Gas shuttle. No, not that one. Plumbing. There's going to be something I can use. I'll find out about that anyway. But they're going to carry on adding these. Let's see. Oh, wow, look at that. 51. 60. So it's lost a lot of heat anyway. It's down to 50. Yeah, I reckon once that's done and spread up there, that's going to work a lot better. Okay, we're getting uh, some heat stroke. Hassan and May both have heat stroke. Darn it. And we only have one bed. Uh, one and a half cycles, one and a half cycles. Who is this assigned to? Hassan? Yeah. I think um, May will have to just sort of deal with it. What are you waiting for? No fabrication queued. Let's queue up some of those. We're running out of food again. So they pretty much finished this. They've got these last couple of ones to do here. Uh, we've got a bit of stress because I've been forcing them to come down here and work on all of that. So that's no good. Um, let us put in a massage table. Where is a nice... Uh, the train bar... Oh, we still don't have a like a massage room. We could do with another med bay maybe up here. I mean, that is something we could very quickly put together. There's Hassan. Yeah, why don't we do that for our poor dupes? Let's add that in. Let's add that in. And we'll just copy the one that's underneath. There we go. Uh, no. Try that again. And we'll get two of these going then. Even though there's only not very long left for them to be poorly. 
Uh, plumbing. I think we can get them sorted out sooner rather than later. That would be good. We'll put that one there. Then we'll put the med bed there. And we'll put the wash basin there. Excellent. That'll be good. We may as well expand it. There we go. And then we'll worry about that door later. Excellent. Well, let's go and take a look. Uh, once they start working on all of that. How things are going down here. They're all finished. So the heat down the bottom here is... 51.1, 51.3, 51.4, And then up here, 49.1. So it's hard to say whether that is spreading out. I mean, that is 75. And this is 51. So other than the fact it's in... A different area. I think those are helping. I think they are spreading the heat out. We'd probably have to visualise it more if it's in a separate area on its own. But obviously the heat goes so far and then it stops. And we've got all the other blocks around it. But I mean that's dropped it down by 20 degrees. Which is actually pretty, pretty good. Because then what we can do is... We can pipe... Oh, there we go. Look, they're working on it. Uh, let's dig those blocks out there. We can start piping that up into the bottom of our base and stick in a electrolyzer. Or even do that somewhere up here. Have a little one of those electrolyzer setups again. Uh, we'll have to manually run it. Just doing those manually for now until we get... Uh, oh, we've got 40 meal lice. Oh, okay. Let's add that in afterwards. Um, yeah, we'll set up a little manual oxygen thing. It'll have to be manually run by power like that until we set up the natural gas. But I've got to be honest, it's working all right at the moment. So I'm not overly concerned about that. But I think that's good. I think that's good. Now we can automate that once we have researched. Uh, you're still working on fossil fuels. That's fine. Once we have researched and got the hydro sensor... Uh, depending on ambient liquid pressure, I, where, there is a liquid temperature one, I'm sure. But when I find that, I'll have a look. And maybe we can set something up with that. But if not, the pressure, when this drops down to a certain level, it lets opens it up and lets it in again. Maybe something like that. We shall see, we shall see. As always, if you have any ideas, any comments and suggestions, leave them below in the comment section. If you enjoyed, leave a like and hit the big B with a tea stain to subscribe. Why did you open that door? <laughs> They're locked. <laughs> and let three more. Hit the big B with the tea stain to subscribe. And I will see you tomorrow for the next episode of Oxygen Not Included. Take care, guys and girls. Bye-bye.